I recently took my parents on their very first Waymo ride. And my mother asked me whether I felt safe in a autonomous vehicle without a driver. And I told her absolutely because I know that the fleet of vehicles is well maintained and I trust that the technology is there more so than I do getting into a private rideshare vehicle that I have no idea who that driver is or what that vehicle is like. There is a certain amount of benefit to not having to this sounds dumb, but not having to engage with people. By trusting the technology, we are allowing ourselves to be, to a degree, even more safe. How does it compare to, say, taking an Uber? My level of comfort on Waymo is higher than that on Uber. I can hit the pullover button if there's any time that I really feel like the vehicle is just not going where I want it to go. I can hit the support button and talk to someone and they would come right on in an overhead phone call and find out what the issue was. And I know that there's someone who is tracking the vehicle all the time. It's not really ever just on its own. <laughs> it's not gonna take over. <laughs> it's, it's not a Dalek. <laughs> Tell me about Waymo's decision to come to Chandler. Why did they pick Chandler? They chose Arizona because California, they were running into some onerous legislation and pushback. And when they looked to Arizona, they liked Chandler's well done streets. They liked our commitment and willingness to, in essence, leave them alone and let them do what they do. And we were a good fit. What's been the reaction from people in town about Waymo? Do you see a real mix of opinion here? We see overwhelmingly that people like it or they're curious about it. There has been a few people that have had suspicions or fears and there's been a few incidents where people with mental illness have approached these vehicles and have thrown rocks or, or, or pointed guns, one case, but it, it's overwhelmingly been that we see these vehicles riding around and it's normal. So there's been a lot of concerns about drivers losing their jobs. How do you react to that criticism? Um, absolutely, we're trying to create new jobs. We've hired hundreds of local residents from new jobs that have never existed before, like a self-driving fleet technician or a self-driving rider support. We can hopefully be helpful there as a company that creates jobs. Roughly, I think 94% of accidents are caused by human error. And that's really what triggered this idea of the Google Self-Driving Project in Waymo. People get distracted, they get sleepy, they're on their cell phones. I mean, even when you look at the stats of the number of fatalities in the United States actually going up with all the innovations that the car industry has been able to do, we're still one of the critical links as humans and make mistakes. I've been bike commuting on their path. The Waymo did cut me off in the bike lane. I had to slow way down to coax it to go ahead of me. I used the uh, Waymo complaint form and, and did voice my displeasure at being part of an experiment because it seemed like I was in a little bit of danger. I think they need the safety drivers for quite a while. As programmers, we're overconfident in our work and our baby, and when somebody reports a problem with it, our first reaction is denial. Now they have a huge amount of money and ego at stake. They want this to succeed so badly that they're not necessarily exercising their best judgment. There's a lot of buzz about autonomous vehicles, the risks involved and whether the technology's there and everything, but you seem to have discovered something else that no one's talking about. We have said if the technology were in fact viable, if all the ethical concerns and the regulatory concerns associated with the technology were solved, would the costs associated with using an autonomous taxi be comparable to the cost of personal vehicle ownership today? And what we discover is that it would not. Our best estimate suggests that it would be on average at least two times higher than owning a personal vehicle today. 